fighting last night. First, though, this touting tax reform. The president and Republican leaders are gearing up to unveil phase two of their tax reform plan. It comes as President Trump visited West Virginia yesterday for a tax reform roundtable discussion. He also took a swipe at Democratic Senator Joe Manchin for voting no on the cuts last year. When you talk about tax reform, that could mean your taxes are going up. And your taxes went down. They went down a lot. The Democrats have a problem. I mean, if you look at your senator, uh, he voted against. Joe, he voted against. No, it was bad. You're going to have a chance to uh, get a senator that's going to vote our program, that's going to help you in so many different ways, and you're not getting that help right now. And joining us right now to talk more about that, Pennsylvania governor, former DNC chairman and special counsel at Ballard Spar, Ed Rendell. Governor, it's good to see you, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see you, Maria. So what do you think Democrats are going to say going into the midterms? We know that the tax plan helped economic growth. We're talking about 3 and 4 percent growth possible, and not one Democrat voted for it. Well, Maria, the tax plan is a sham. Uh, you know, you hear all these corporations gave out bonuses. They didn't give out raises, they gave out bonuses. Bonuses benefit workers for one year, then they're gone, they evaporate, and they're back to the same old wage. And what's the majority of money that corporations have been using from the tax cut have been going to share buybacks. For a congressional study found 45 times more money is going to share buybacks that, that that benefit wealthy shareholders as opposed to bonuses for workers. Governor, so, I think I think there are a lot and of look things. At all, and look at all the, the corporations, yeah, Maria. You they, know oh, this. yeah, we're going to put the Fargo list up. We're going to look. At, we're putting the list up right now. All the all the corporations who are benefiting from a tax reform. Look, you can say a lot of things about and, this and tax put, plan. A sham up, is not put, one of them, Governor. The 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 pl corporate rate the going up. from forty please percent. Put the list up. Can I finish? Please put the list up. Yeah, we have it up. We, we got it up right now. Who since the tax said, no, no, it's a different list. Who uh, since what the list tax do you want to say? Have laid off thousands of workers. Wells Fargo closing 900 branches. Uh, Walmart, Kimberly Clark. So are you uh, saying, Harley wait, are Davidson, you saying, Governor, that the Hess tax oil. rate, the corporate rate should be at 35 percent? Is that what you're saying? No, I think we should have had a modest reduction in the corporate tax rate. To what, 30 percent? you know as well as I do. I, I'd have done it to 27, 28 percent. Look, you know as well as I do that most American corporations do not pay 35 percent. In fact, a fortune study found the effective tax rate for the 2,000 biggest corporations was 20 percent. They got rid of, that's the point, so, though, of the tax reform. They got rid of the loopholes so that everybody is going to pay what they should pay. But I'm talking about a domestic company. Wait, they got not, rid not of the global, loopholes? Wait, 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 let me, wait, a, I, not a global company. Governor, wait, not a global company who was trying to, you know, get, get the no tax. Uh, I'm talking about a domestic company that was facing a close to 40 percent corporate rate, has now seen that rate go to 21 percent. That is a huge deal for earnings and broad economic growth. To what do you attribute the change in the economy then? if you're saying that the tax plan is a sham. The economy has been going up steadily for the last five, six years. Before no, it hasn't, Governor. That's in, just not true, tax, sir. It has, it's not true. We've had job growth every month for the last five years. Companies every were month, sitting on cash and not growth. spending it. They were unwilling still, to spend it and, because and listen, they were facing listening. so much regulation and a, high taxes. You're not listening. You're not listening. Companies are giving the majority of that cash overwhelmingly to their corporate executives and to shareholders, to shareholders, there not to There are definitely an increase in buybacks, 100 percent. You're right. But that's not a bad thing. A, a dramatic increase in buybacks. Why is that such a bad thing? Dramatic increase in buybacks. Why is, it bad? Why is buybacks because it, bad? it's not benefiting. The president said this would benefit the American workers. It is not benefiting the American workers. We are workers. talking about a jobs report that's going to be out, Governor, in about an hour that is virtually full of uh, employment at 4 percent. And, and the job, job numbers are expected every to month be very for the strong, last Kevin five Kelly. Years. Yeah, yeah go Governor. And we've had job growth every month for the last five years. Yeah, Governor. Uh, the, the, here's, here's, it's Kevin Kelly here, and here's the important part, right? So the NFIB s states that all jobs, three out of four new jobs that are created are from small businesses. Small businesses have completely benefited from this new corporate tax plan, right? They saw it go down. So are you telling the small businesses in Pennsylvania that have uh, that have benefited from this, that are going to be adding to new workers, that are actually increased—33 percent of all small businesses now are increasing wages, are you telling them it's a sham? That's what he just said. No, look, there are some people, there are some people who benefit, but the same small businesses that you're talking about 
are going to pay, according to the CBO, a dramatic increase in health care premiums because of what was done to Obamacare. the Health Care Act as part of Because of Obamacare. But it, because they took away the mandate. And that's going to cause a huge increase in health care prices, which is going to wipe out most of these gains. Wait, that's so not true, though. The, 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 the CBO, the, 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 look at the, the governor, the CBO, distinct under, under the President Obama's administration, said that Obamacare cost jobs and hurt small businesses. So getting rid and of the... And every small business manager tells us that. And every small business manager tells us that. We've had unprecedented job growth for five, five and a half years each month, we've had job growth. And that started way before the tax cut plan, way before tax cut reform. Look, the tax cut was overbroad. You say there are no, they got rid of all the loopholes. What about the $363 billion tax cut that went to real estate developers over 10 years? $363 billion. Contrast that to what the president wants to do with infrastructure that will benefit 340 million Americans. He wants to give infrastructure $200 billion over 10 years, almost twice as much as going to real estate developers for a tax cut. Real estate developers are doing fine in Philadelphia. Yeah. They're Let, doing fine all over the here's, country. Here's they Brian Greenberg, Governor. Cut. Go ahead, Brian. Governor, Democrats have complained that the tax cuts for individuals weren't permanent. Republicans want to make them permanent. It looks like this year, will Democrats get on board with making individual tax cuts permanent, just like you asked for? I think, I think the overwhelming number of Democrats will. Well, where were they when the tax plan was first here? Nobody voted for it. Because the tax cuts for individuals weren't made permanent, number one. <laughs> number two, they were a small part. Governor, you had, you had eight years under President Obama to make a move on tax reform, and your colleagues didn't do it. Now you're saying it's because the, the individual cuts weren't permanent? Come on. Well, wait, wait. Let's go back to the stimulus. In the stimulus... Is it not correct? There was a thousand dollar tax cut per family. A thousand dollar tax cut per family. Now, all I know is that the economy was it, under two percent. It was about one and a half percent under President wait, Obama. Wait, wait. We're talking President about tax Trump cuts. came in, put, put this we're tax talking, plan in, and now we're talking about three percent. Answer the question. Answer the question. Is it not true <laughs> that in the stimulus there was a working people's tax cut, which was a thousand dollars per family? All I remember is you didn't pay your fair cash. share and you didn't build that. Governor, it's good to see you, sir. Well, Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you for you weighing in. You don't remember that. No, I don't. No. God, you guys. Stay. <laughs> I'm gonna run down. We'll be right back. <laughs>